Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today we have a very exciting video. Um, as you must be aware, um, we are creating a, a, a lab protect, uh, for protection system and this lab is trying to replicate uh, the situation in a real superstation, okay? And one of the very important aspects in modern uh, power system superstation is the use of communication. And especially in relative new superstation, I'm not talking about digital superstation at the moment. I mean, I'm not talking about digital superstation. I am, I am talking about modern superstation, Ethernet, TCP, IP, is a very important protocol okay and the job today is i will i will show you some very basic steps that you can follow in order to configure the ip address of the port number one at the cell 751 feeder protection relay okay and um, before before i start my video um i would like to say a disclaimer here okay this video is only based on my opinion. I am Professor Francisco Gonzalez Longat, and the idea of those videos is basically help people, okay? However, you must understand that those videos, they are not intended as substitute of the original documentation created by Schweizer, okay? Um, as everyone, I will tell you, um, if you want to watch my video, I will be extremely happy and really proud. However, uh, all those videos must be a uh, will be together with reading the proper documentation created by cell. Okay. Well, coming back to my video today, uh, we are configuring the IP address of the cell 751, the feeder protection relay from Twicer. Okay. But what is the motivation here? Well, if you look here in this slide, I have the, let's say, uh, the communication uh, layer inside a classical uh, relative new substation, okay? I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about a digital substation using ic 61 a 50 okay? I'm not talking about a digital substation where you have different levels for the digital communication. I'm talking about a very basic substation where you have here at the bottom several ID. One of them can be the Schweizer relay that we are talking today. And those devices, they are connected to something that we call the Ethernet switch using a classical Ethernet cable, okay? Then that switch is a hub that allows the connection with some other devices inside the sewer station. And that is also one element that allows the cyber physical connection. Okay. Uh, this Ethernet switch, it can be connected using Ethernet cable to some computers, industrial computers or personal computers, basically for engineering. There are some software over there that basically they are doing monitoring or they can do more than monitoring, okay? Uh, to be honest, uh, we can have also human machine interface. I mean, some kind of visualization software that allow you monitoring and showing the, the, the dispatcher or the people inside the sewer station what is happening in real time, okay? But also this human uh, machine interface allows sending trig uh, signals, for instance, control signal or trips to the devices connected to this Ethernet switch, okay? But more important, this substation need communication with the control center. And from the Ethernet switch, we can go to a router and that router allow the communication control trips with the control center, okay? Um, at this moment, uh, the lab is just starting to grow. And what we want to do right now is try to replace and resemble this scheme, okay? Right now, if you look over here, we have a rotor that is replicating the behavior of going to the control center. And from that uh, rotor, we are going to do switch, okay? At this moment, I will not discuss the communication scheme or structure at the lab. What I need that you understand is, that in this case, this switch, it's connected by, it must be connected using an Ethernet cable to this cell 751, the feeder protection relay from 
Schweizer, okay? What is my job today? Well, the situation is the following. We receive this uh, cell 751 and this relay has the uh, factory configuration, okay? Um, cell uh, gives you the relay in a box with uh, default settings. And it, if you remember my previous video, the IP address of the port number one in this relay is 192.168.1. And to be honest, that IP address is already used inside our network, okay? For that reason, the challenge today is we would like to configure this uh, IP address, the port number one of the beautiful cell 751, okay? Uh, what we will do today, what we will do today is something very simple. What we will do today is we will use the touch screen human machine interface. This cell relay that we have at the lab have the beautiful and amazing touch screen. And using that touch screen and moving between uh, the menus, we are planning to change the settings, okay? However, something that you must be aware um, during the um, changing the settings of uh, the relay using the human machine interface, you will need authentication, okay? This, re uh, this relay has uh, security features, and for that reason, uh, you will need to have access to view and change settings in this relay, okay? For that reason, I highly suggest if you are using the default settings, you must remember that the section number seven of the instruction manual you will find over there the um, password by default, factory default password, okay? Okay, the procedure is extremely simple. The procedure is basically 13 steps that I present in this slide, okay? Going to settings, then to port, then inside port one, then go into internet port settings, select IP address, put the password and fulfill the authentication process, then go and change the IP address. In this case today, as you can see over here, I will use 192.168.113 because that is one of the IP available at the lab, okay? Then I will go back, save the settings, confirm the settings, and then I will go home, okay? To the home menu of this relay. Why? Because I would like to reboot the relay and when the relay reboot after the confirmation, I will use the command prompt mm, tool in Windows in order to test the connection, okay? That is the plan. Um, you can see the full detailed 13 steps here. However, what I will do is I will do it in front of you using the physical relay. We are here with this uh, beautiful cell 751. Um, what, what we will do now is using the uh, touch screen, the human machine interface, the beautiful color and five inch uh, touch screen to uh, change the IP address of the Ethernet port that is located at the back of this device, okay? That is the port number one. First step, what we need to do is going into the folder uh, defined as settings, okay? When you are inside settings, you can see here, this is the folder for settings. There are several folders over here. There is one with the name port and we are going inside. Inside that folder, you will find icons for different ports that they are enabled in this relay. Uh, as you can see over here, uh, the second icon from the from the left is uh, is labeled port number one, and the symbol, the icon, is a Ethernet port. That is the one that I am interested in. I just press that one, and we are here at the port one configuration. I would like to see the Ethernet settings. Okay. As you can see over here, the first line is showing me the IP address that is set for this relay. 
as I say before, this relay is coming from the factory, it's brand new, and is having the, um, the um, factory configuration, okay? In that case, the, the IP address is 962.968.12, but as I say before, I cannot allow this IP because this IP address is already taken inside the lab. As a consequence, we will touch here and we have here a security a security confirmation okay as you can see over here the relay is asking for the level 2 ac password okay you must remember from my previous video when we are making changes in this relay there are two levels at least two basic levels for uh for security. One is for uh, viewing the settings and the other one that this the 2AC is the level dedicated for uh, for viewing and modifying. Okay. Now what I will do is I will put here using the keyboard the the default uh, the factory default settings submit and right now I have the possibility of modifying the IP address. I will say here back, then I will use the numerical keyboard and I will write one three because the new IP address must be 192.168.113, okay? Then what we will do is submit. And now you can see that we have at the display in this screen, the new IP address 192.168.113, okay? However, we need to save these settings. For that reason, press back. And as you can see on the left-hand side, there are some icons for saving or not the changes. And I will say, yes, please, save the settings. And then the relay say to me, Okay, are you ready? Are you sure that you want to save those uh, settings? And I will say totally yes. And you can see over here, it's saving the settings, okay? Uh, what I will do now is I will do something very simple. I would like to reboot this uh, relay, okay? To do so, we can go to home. I use the home button over here. Then I will go to devi uh, device information, and there is an icon over here that say reboot, okay? And the relay again will ask me, would you like to reboot? Are you sure? Yes, totally sure. And now the device is coming back online. As you can see, the classical blue color uh, screen coming from Schweizer. And pretty fast, the device is starting up and ready, okay? Now, what I will do is I would like to be sure this configuration is all right, okay? To do so, what I will do is I will connect an Ethernet cable at port number one, and then I will use a computer to connect to this uh, cell 751 and establish the communication. Now, using the magic of the television, you can see that we have here an Ethernet uh, cable, a blue cable connected to the device. And what I will do now is I will use the classical command prompt from Windows, okay? Uh, you open the command prompt from Windows and I will use a ping that is a command that you use to check your connectivity and then you follow uh, the pin is followed by the uh, IP address in this case 192.168.1.13 okay now I will press enter and as you can see over there right now 
uh, the 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 computer is communicated with is communicating with the cell seven five one. Okay, if you look over there, uh, um, the computer uh, has sent uh, four packages, uh, thirty two bytes, and uh, the four packages were received, and there is not loss between the transmission and the reception. That is confirming us that the relay has been set to the new IP address, and that is uh, 192.168.1130. Well, coming back to my presentation over here, you can see the 13 steps that I grow for you in order that you will be able to change the IP address of the port one at the cell 751 feeder protection relay, okay? Uh, after I finish and I reboot the device, then I use the command prompt in order to verify the uh, connection, okay? Um, well, this is all for today. I am really happy to tell you this video, show you how to modify the IP address of the port number one of this cell 751. In this case, I have used the human machine interface because I would like to take the advantages of the beautiful touch screen that this device is equipped, okay? Of course, you can use another method to do the same, but this was just basically one way to show you the uh, the touch screen functionality, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to drop an email and keep in touch. Thank you very much for this today. See you at the next video.